we give up to 20 teams in each round, up to £75,000, to implement an innovation or an improvement project. And for us in this improvement project, the learning, their journey that they go on, as well as the impact that we hope that their improvement will have, um, is as important to us. And what we've seen today is some really impressive progress that all of the teams have made. Yes, um, we developed an exercise app that people after stroke could use um, to do their arm exercises rather than the traditional method of using paper. So the project is all about helping patients reduce their blood pressure through the power of diet and lifestyle. The aim of the project was to assess an early warning score for families at home who have infants with complex congenital heart disease. So the project was to deliver health checks for people with psychosis in the community and patients with psychosis died 15 to 20 years younger than the average population. The project aim was to develop a peer-supported open dialogue service uh, in Kent. Um, so our project is looking at trying to introduce a, an admission prediction tool in the emergency department. So the aim of our project was to look at trying to tackle social isolation and undernutrition in older people within Darlington area. It was about sh sh shifting the mindset of an entire staff group on two dimensions to use the enriched model of care. Yeah, I bet that wasn't an easy task. <laughs> The aim is to help transitions from inpatient care that sometimes people with severe enduring eating disorder need into the community. Our project aim was to increase the education of the patients for consenting for hip and knee replacements. Our project aim was to improve patient outcomes by offering preoperative psychological assessment for patients having hip and knee replacements. It was to show that community pharmacists could offer asthma reviews to patients who don't turn up to their GP surgery. Yes, yeah, so the main aim of the project was to improve the detection and treatment of uh, persistent physical symptoms in primary care. So our aim was to explore engaging parents in the perinatal mortality death review process that takes part in its hostel in the UK. I think our ambitions are national. It, it was the amount of time, commitment, energy um, and interest everyone had in undertaking the project and also wanting to, to run it out to other centres eventually. Better planning um, and time. Our hope would be to then scale it up across Kent to all our locality community mental health teams. Um, it's a score that's generated by information that's already gathered at triage um, and then it, uh, the score then represents a patient's likelihood of being admitted or being discharged. And to be fair, the junior doctors did, in the end, quite like the score and quite took to it. That a lunch club setting is an acceptable um, venue for healthcare delivery. Seeing the, the healthcare support workers' recognition of their, their skills in dealing with patients with dementia. And having that um, joint learning between all three parties of, of the care programme, I guess. Uh, I think we'll scale this internationally. We'll scale, we'll scale this a course. I think one of the highlights for all of us has been the feedback we've been getting from children. The highlight of the project for me was when the medical practices realised that community pharmacists could deliver these services to the standard that they want. So how difficult it was to actually recruit people to the programme. We've been over a thousand people in GP practices and have improved the access to psychological treatments for uh, people with uh, persistent physical symptoms. What, what the projects tell us they like about the Innovative Improvement uh, Programme, they get a sort of package of support, they get learning events like the one where we're at today which is a final event for round four. It's a kind of combination of challenge and support where we can check out that they're keeping on track with the projects and what we know is that they're, it's very rare that a project goes entirely to plan. Um, so sometimes it's about alleviating the anxiety, focusing on uh, solutions to problems and challenges that they face along the way. But we very we focus very emphatically on 
how will their measurement plan ensure they can demonstrate impact? And sometimes that's not what they were expecting to happen. So it's a, it's a, a curious way of um, uh, finding out uh, how projects are progressing and how they're uh, demonstrating improvement. And thank you to the Health Foundation for giving us the opportunity to work with 77 fantastic innovative projects. Thank you.